this is a museum unlike any other. To begin with, it is not open to the public at large, but it has evoked a lot of interest. Located in the heart of Mexico City, the museum houses artifacts from Mexico's deadly war against drug cartels. So what is to be found inside this drug cartel museum? We get you a sneak peek. A diamond embedded handgun with El Chapo Guzman's initials on it. Or a gun which belonged to drug lord Amado Carrillo. If you want to get a glimpse of these artifacts, you would have to visit the Drug Cartel Museum inside Mexico's Defense Ministry office in Mexico City. But there is a catch. The general public is not allowed. The top secret exhibition can be accessed only by Mexico's top military and intelligence agents. This has been set up to better understand the drug lords deconstruct their psychology and to stop their illegal activities. The museum is the result of the experience the Mexican army was gaining, first in the interception and elimination of drug crops and later what was their inclusion little by little, first in the arrest and then in the war against drug trafficking. Many of the weapons used by drug lords are also displayed. Other paraphernalia include stuffed lions. The large egos of the drug lords inspire their taste for opulence and self-glorification. El Chapo Guzman, considered the most powerful drug trafficker, was captured in 2016 and convicted for life in 2019. The security agencies were able to confiscate a lot of his personal weapons. Are you now, especially the there is sort of a self-emulation and also a sort of veneration of their own personality that makes the drug lords have these exotic tastes. And there is the famous sword that the Templar Knights had, but also the Templar had made a little statue of Nazario Moreno. Drug trafficking constitutes almost 5% of Mexico's economy. Fear and a personality cult is what the drug lords rely on to carry out their nefarious activities. Merlino Gonzalez, another dreaded drug lord, was killed in 2014. He had projected himself as a messiah and a saint to obtain the loyalty of the poor. Started in 1986, the museum is not meant to be a tribute to the drug lords. Instead, its primary duty is to inform and educate officers on the front line in the war against drug cartels in Mexico. Bureau report, Vion World is One.